talk about boundaries. This is a really interesting topic. So let's start off, and this is really important, right? Because a lot of people here that have talked about, right, oh, my God, you've got to put boundaries on when you have clients. Protect yourself with a white light or something, which I think is total nonsense, right? So this is what a this is what a this is what a boundary means. You don't need to copy this down so you can find it in any dictionary online, right? So I'm going to ask this question. What what is the argument for having a boundary? What does a boundary do? It closes you down. Uh, yeah, but what's the purpose of a boundary? Why would why would someone think they need a boundary? I'll ask that question in different ways. I agree with what you said. Yeah. Protect your energy. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's why people do it. So what do they feel they need to protect their energy? They're giving it away. Uh, true. So they put up a boundary so their energy can't go out. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Because they feel they're being affected by other people. Don't they? Why do you put up a boundary? If you think of a boundary around a house, why do you put a boundary up? Because you don't want things to come in or you don't want things to get out. Right? Which is what you're saying, Caroline. It's not about you're scared people are going to take your energy, number one. Yeah. Or two, you're going to be affected by other people. Now, we recently did a talk on mastering your energy, which we talked a lot about this. We talked about, you know, Holly talked about how she's being affected by um, an ex-boyfriend. Now, Jacinda, in that talk on mastering your energy, which I'm now creating, I'm turning into a course, <laughs> you know I me, mean? I'll turn everything into a course. Right. What affects your energy, Jacinda? We talked about in that talk. What affects your energy? Your thoughts yeah. and your beliefs that... And they're really just a false illusion self. Yeah, totally. So let's go back to that. Did you, uh, uh, Caroline, did you come to this talk? No, I don't think so. But we, 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 it's called Marching Energy. We actually we, I put it into Facebook groups saying, what's the video? Maybe your energy levels are determined by others. That's the reason they have boundaries. Oh, my God, people are going to take my energy. Number one. And there are parasites in the world. Don't worry about that. Right. But your energy levels are determined by your beliefs. So this is really interesting, right? When and, and this really challenged Joe when I said to him, that's okay. Because mastering her energy is one of the big issues. <laughs> is if you actually put up fences, let's say you go into a healing session, Holly, and you put up a boundary between you and the client because you're protected by white light. Can you actually connect to the client? You can't. A boundary means you don't want to connect. That's what a boundary is, right? I don't use boundaries. You say, oh, my God, then, Paul, how, how come you're not affected by the people? Well, because I know my energy is not determined by, by them. It's determined by me. So in the session, if I'm coming from love, I'm still going to connect to them and feel their shame and guilt. I don't want to block my energy from feeling their shame and guilt. I want to feel it. I'm not taking it on. Now, I'm going to give an example. Holly and I talked about this last week. Now, Holly, when we did our talk on healing the mother wound, we felt a lot of weird energy before the talk. Mm. But I know it's not mine. I'm feeling it because that's part of connecting to the people and that's helping me connect to what's going to, we're going to talk about. And that talk was amazing, right? Wasn't it? Right. Now it's going into a course. So I know I'm not worried about, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually being affected by energy. I'm just connecting to it to feel it. So therefore, rather than having a boundary, which closes you off from the world. So <laughs> a boundary does. It closes you off. Is what you do and said is be in your power, be in high beliefs, which we talked about in this in this talk. Letting go of your limiting beliefs is the key to high energy. That's what we talked about in this talk. 
And then you have limiting beliefs. How do you do that? Which is, holy, uh, which is learning the lesson from any of your experiences. So for instance, if we talk about Holly, okay, if she was, you know, with one of her ex-boyfriends, right? This has nothing to do with him. It's about learning from the experience of why she chose to have him in his space, which is perfect, whatever she need to learn. And then it's all about self-acceptance, holding on to high energy thoughts of yourself in the world. So if you're on a high vibration, because you're connecting to who you really are, that means you can still connect to other people who are in low vibration, because you're doing healing sessions on them, right? So when I did work on that lady in the gym yesterday, I could feel her guilt and shame. But did I take it off? No, not at all, but I could feel it. Did I, I, do, I to, do I want to block myself from her? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I think that's a big myth that's talked a lot about in, in healing. I even listened to a video this morning, and then this lady was talking about, oh, you know, the power of making a choice of yes and no, who you connect to. Now, if you ever thought, I'm not connecting to um, toxic people, you have that thought. Let's say, I'm going to say no to people. Let's say you believe that. I'm going to say no to people, right? But if you've got a limiting thought that I feel like shit and I have low self-worth, what pe type of people are you going to create in your life, Holly? Same. Yeah. Now, if you say, I say no to people, but your higher self wants you to connect to those people so you can shift your energy, you're going to create conflict in yourself and you're going to be in low vibration. So just saying no to people doesn't work. It's nonsense. Which is interesting. When you say no, it's like no, no sense. Nonsense, right? What's better is clear your lessons around, my God, why, why, why was there attracting narcissistic controlling people? It's irrelevant for all of us, right? Now, Jacinta, you've learned a lot about that in terms of your course, in terms mm. of it. Oh my God, why do I attract narcissistic people? Because well, I was in low self worth and I feel, oh shit. Now, if you think you're shit and like a doormat, then what you're going to create in your life is people walking all over you and leaving, wiping their dirty shoes on you. Don't blame them. They just think you're a doormat, which you're choosing to be. So if you choose to be a doormat, thinking you're having a boundary by saying no is so silly. Does that make sense? I'm a doormat, but I'm going to have a boundary around my doormat. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Jacinda, any comments on that? On boundaries? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's true, but something that I've just come up with lately is that we're all this one energy and I'm expressing yeah. or coming into the earth to express that, so that's how I am. Yeah. And um, the more I see that, you know, you can come back into your heart space. And so um, if, so, if with a boundary, the more I can see that that person's on that same wavelength as me, that we're all on that one chord. If they come up and they, now I can see that if I feel triggered by them, I go, oh, that's how they're expressing themselves. And it's in a way, I don't, I start to slowly see them instead of that horrible person but I know underneath they're that person and they don't worthy, bother you as much. Do you know how what I was trying to explain? Did that uh, make sense? No, it doesn't actually. I'm going to tell you that what you said is not true. Okay. See, because you're not seeing them. No, that's what I mean. I'm not seeing them, but I'm I'm connecting with their heart so I, they don't annoy me. So if yeah, they, no, yeah, yeah, no, but you're, not connecting, but you're not connecting to them. The world is a reflection of you, Jacinta. So what are you really yeah, that's connecting right. to? You're connecting, yeah, to, you're connecting to yourself. Yeah, I know. That's this what I another, mean. This is another reason why boundaries are ridiculous. You know what? I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. that affects me, yeah. So you're, it's they're not affecting me. Yeah, I know how to put it, but I just didn't yeah, explain yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, and that's okay. Let me clearly explain it. So, Caroline, what yeah. we're saying is if I want to protect myself from other people or other people are going to take my energy, what you're really saying is I'm taking energy from myself or I'm letting myself affect myself because the world is a reflection of you. Right. That's, how that's how ridiculous it is. <laughs> so when Jacinda says, oh, I've been triggered by other people, no, other people aren't triggering you. 
because the energy you're sending out is your energy that you're seeing and then trigger yourself. Mm -hmm. Other people never trigger you. No. That's a mess. No. You're triggering yourself. So I have an example, right? Caroline, I talked about this lady. She came to me, Caroline, she had, oh, my God, all my past boyfriends have been angry. Mm. But the reason is because she hadn't dealt with her anger inside in relation to her father. So she kept sending angry out, anger her out so that she had to attract angry men. I said, that's perfect for you. Mm. I said, you've got to, the way you change that is change who you are. Wow. And the way you do this is life is like a movie. You're the script writer. So you, what you do is, if you write the same script, you're going to keep attracting the same actors. Don't blame the actors. Change the script, which means change your beliefs. So when I got that lady to change her beliefs by dealing with the issue around her dad, around anger, she didn't attract anger men anymore. Mm. So the world, so the world, there aren't bad people out there. See, the way that you connect to a, any person in the world is you're connecting to yourself. Right, 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 right. So, why would the, why do you want to put a boundary between you and yourself? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you, you're block. Uh, what just your sentence right at the start? You're blocking yourself, and therefore you're going to have be in lower energy. Is that? And then you're going to be in conflict with yourself. You're in conflict with yourself. That's why I'm creating conflict with yourself. Have boundaries. It's a conflict creator. Now, this is such a big myth, you know, because lady, this lady's talking, she was, it was actually a TED talk. And it's really interesting to put a, put a post on there. I know that's going to really trigger a lot of people, right? But they're triggering themselves by whatever they read in mind. Does that make sense? No one ever triggers you. Oh, my God, that's so empowering. I'm triggering myself. Cool. That means I can change it. Mm. Well, if you keep saying, I probably keep saying, oh, my God, I'm affected by Ryan. But he doesn't talk to me anymore, so I've shifted something. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. See, when you change vibration, you don't even create those people in your life. Who so might be, and this is not saying other people have issues to deal with. Well, of course they do, right? But that doesn't mean they're relevant to you. You only attract a parasite into your life, somebody who's going to suck your energy, if you if you want to be sucked. Mm. Oh, I'm in low self-worth. Maybe I need my energy to be sucked so it feels like what it's like to give my power away and feel like shit. Oh, if that's what you need to need to experience to learn something, that's okay. Don't judge yourself. See, this is mind-blowing when you look at how you change and connect to an emotion. So this goes back to your point, Carol, at the start. Oh, my God, I'm feeling like shit and shame because I gave my power away to this guy. Great. What can I learn from that? Excellent. This is what I need to learn. How can I be in my power? How can I have beliefs that I'm a powerful um, woman, right? If you're in that energy, well, you're not going to attract people who are going to suck your energy. This is really, really important. It's just how you be secure. And I like to play with words. Secure, see the cure. The cure is connect to who you are. They gave you limiting thoughts. So my, my answer to that is boundaries uh, are a mess. So go and connect with that. All right? That's how you feel. Go somewhere. If you don't believe it, go somewhere. Put all the boundaries around yourself and see how you feel. It's really more boundaries with yourself, isn't it? No yeah, why, why would yeah, why would you and why would you want to put a boundary around yourself? Oh, just being stronger in yourself. So knowing what your boundaries are. Like I guess it's all about self worth and not self sacrificing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. about it's not about boundaries. Mm. It's not about boundaries. So I'm going to finish this section off with two jokes. If you're sitting on the fence, you can't be grounded. That's my first joke. If you're on the fence, be offensive. Get off the fence. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's just a couple more jokes. <laughs> oh. Caroline's laughing. There's a lot of people in there, Caroline. That's really cool. Mm. Go and connect to that. We'll put, we'll put this. This this actually little section on boundaries is I'm going to put into my master energy course. 
there's going to be a, a lesson there on boundaries, and this little video is going to talk about that. So thanks for your feedback for that. And this is another reason why when you guys run your Q and A for these students, I'm always creating things for other purposes, but at the same time, you guys will benefit. Is that cool? So I work with some athletes, and I taught them how to anchor a particular emotion by holding on to holding on to how to anchor particular thoughts. And that's what you can do before a healing session. It's not having boundaries, it's knowing how to be in the zone. Right? Whether it's playing chess or whether it's playing healing, I just know how to go into that zone. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm meeting people all the time and I go, I'm going to the zone right now to do a healing session. <laughs> Get my cards out and just do it. That makes sense? It's not boundaries, I'm just in the zone. And I'm just connecting to the divines working through me. I'm going to connect to that person, whatever they're going through without any fence between me and them. Because if there's a fence between me and them, they'll let something offensive. <laughs> Another joke. <laughs> and she might be then be defensive, which means she's going to resist me. Well, I'm sort of jokes. That's what I like. <laughs> Is that cool? You know, like, because, you know, when you hear Jacinta's story, oh, she went in town the other day and... And she met these people. See how easy that was? She went with the flow. She didn't resist. Oh my God, should I talk to this person or not? Is he a narcissist or whatever? <laughs> well, how did you no, just seem to talk to him because it felt right? Mm. That's being detached and going with the flow. And that's where to be detached, you've got to be intuitive. Yeah. That, that tells you who to talk to and who not to talk to. Oh, I was intuitive. I know. That's what I'm implying. That's what I mean. That's, yeah, okay. And there was no fear. Because no. if ever I used to want to know something, there'd be so much fear, but it just happened naturally. Yeah, yeah because you so when you're in the zone, you're you are like in the zone, you could call it that. Right. Mm. Okay, she knew this is what I wanted to achieve. Right, in terms of she's learning about money and what she wants to do with her money. So she's she's obviously put out a thought, oh my God, can people come tell me who are experts? Right. And um and you go, and they will come into your space. Just like yesterday, someone sent me a document about how to trade gold and silver in Australia. <laughs> oh, isn't that interesting timing? You know what I mean? So just in a sense, you're on there. What did you learn about attachment and boundaries today? Ah, uh, yeah, and boundaries. I, I now, like, um, with boundaries, I've sort of now know that if someone's impacting me, it is something about me, or yeah, yeah, it's totally. not really about it's the, it. And or if someone says something to me, like my ex, the more I don't think about it now. But he, um, it was never about me, it was always about him, too. So if he said something, it wasn't about me. I attracted it, but the more I can say it wasn't about me, it was about him. But also, yeah. I attracted him into my life. I understand yeah. that more and more now, yeah. And that's another important point, Caroline. So I just want to explain what, what Jacinda just said. Mm. What other people say is about them. And the famous comment, what other people think about you is none of your business. Because mm. they're looking at you from their perceptions, their experiences of what they need to learn. Mm. And if they look at you, Jacinda, uh, if they look at Jacinda and say, oh, my God, she's a, she's a witch, whatever. With a negative connotation, right? Well, that's what they're going to look at. And you know what you say to them? Fantastic, thank you. I'm so glad I, I, I actually gave you that trigger. Do you want to pay me for it? Because I'm actually helping you learn something. You yeah. don't react to them. You allow them to have that thought. Whatever they think about you, allow them to have that thought. But you know what we tend to do? We tend to argue with them. Oh, I'm not like that. Mm. But that's not the point. If you're reacting to them, they're going to take your energy. Mm -hmm. Is that implying you've got low self-worth? Whereas what mm -hmm. Jacinda's now saying is she's in her power now and she goes, oh, well, whatever, he's saying whatever. Mm -hmm. See, I never, care I... What, I, ne I never care what people say because they're not talking about me. That's what Jacinda said. Mm -hmm. They're that talking about themselves. I let them say, oh, do you have a nice talk with yourself? Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't want to listen to you talk to yourself anymore, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> this is mind blowing what you're learning here, Caroline, but it's so important. And I can see that this has changed Jacinta's life. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it, Jacinta? 
Yeah, and I'll share something else. On Saturday, I had lunch with my son because they didn't come last week. Long story, a few things happened. So, um, and I've let, I was, it was in anger and I think he was angry at me and he, he lives with my ex and I kept thinking he had bad energy. So the more I let go of those, probably detach more from boundaries. We had lunch the other day and his partner and then he goes, I had to go and get tracksuit pants. And he's, he's out of the blue, which I was, I didn't plan it. I didn't do it. And he goes, oh, mum, come with me and um, Simone um, to buy tracksuit pants to the shops. And I went, oh. Like he'd never done that before. So I just sort of let go more and more of stuff and out of the blue, yeah, we, you know, we went to the shops to Rebel and a couple of other shops to look for tra- tracksuit and he's never done that before. So that was a good opening for me, yeah, or, you know, a good um, wake up. Or not wake up but to see, yeah. When, you, when you're there or when you think other people are affecting you or you think, I used to think that they were being controlled by my ex. In a way, they probably are. But it's got nothing to do with me. It was all about me. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you can see how this relates back to boundaries. So you go, oh, my God, this person's not that, so I've got to put up a boundary. Mm. Number one is you're not going to learn from why you've created that person in your space, number one, because it's Mm. not about them. So since it's not about them, why do you have them putting up a boundary? You're putting up a boundary to learn. It reduces your energy, and the universe will find you another way to bring you the message, right? And it might be a bigger one, a bigger whack, right? Whereas if you were doing what Jacinta was saying, oh, my God, I'm aware, this is me, that's them, they're talking about whatever, I'm in my high energy, high energy. I'm accepting who I am, that way you're not being affected by other people, so therefore you don't need a boundary. See how, see how that's a classic example? This is really powerful information. This is life changing. Which, of course, every every time we have a group chat, it's life changing. Every moment is life changing if you connect to the moment. Mm. Right? Life is our biggest teacher. You just got to be. You just got to be present with life. You don't put a boundary around life. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, Caroline, what did you learn today about? Boundaries and attachment. And thanks for just sharing a lot of the personal experiences, which helped us understand these points. Yeah. So Caroline, what did you learn today? Wow, I learned so much. Uh, I learned about just allowing things to happen and not really like having a boundary because that like just stops the energy from flowing. Cool. If you just let go, then you're going to, things are just going to come to you anyway. So you don't really need to control it really because everything's just going to come to you at the right time. But of course, when you say allowing, but you've got to be in your power. Oh, right. And and accepting who you are. Right. If if you act like a doormat and just allow energy, you're going to allow narcissists to walk all over you. Oh, this is so true. So it is allowing, but it's being accepting who you are. And being the power of who you are, which is what Jacinda's course is all about, you know, in terms of from going from Cinderella to Wonder Woman. Because mm-hmm. Wonder, I'm sure Wonder Woman's not going to have boundaries. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, but even that could be a tool you could do sometime, Jacinda, or that could be one of your lessons. Why you don't need boundaries as Wonder Woman? So that, you see, you see how that's a catchy title. People are going to go, what the fuck? <laughs> but even you know what I realized even because I'm going over I redesign my I have had the hero and journey so I've got I redesigned mine it's taken yeah. but anyhow I'm do, just redoing something today and I was just I actually just came to me on my diagram you know the, the stages and okay. you've got the you've already known who you are and then yeah. the unknown but when I just looked at that diagram it just just the the penny dropped that um it's wonder woman doing the whole show yeah it's wonder woman doing the whole show but i sort of knew that but it just went i went oh fuck it's wonder woman it's and that diagram is so powerful now that i just realized today this how powerful morning. It is. How powerful it yeah is. yeah so that uh, yeah it's just that you already knew who you were because the crown was already there it's on the diagram and then there's wonder woman with the whip or whatever yeah. But 
much and that's the unknown but she the unknown but we already know who we are sort of thing yeah yeah and as and as tra- I don't know how to explain it yeah no and as we talked about last week it's about you teach what yeah. you need to know so you're mm-hmm. learning deeper about what you need to know this is yeah. really really cool yeah what do you what do you learn uh, about? I guess I'm, I already mentioned the attachment but um I really liked what you just said, Caroline, actually, about the um, allowing things to happen. And then, Paul, when you jumped in and said, but be in your power, because it made me realise how discernment is so important because things are constantly flowing to you, but just using intuition to know, you know, what's the lesson here, but just allowing things to flow. And, yeah, I really like that. Oh, that was a great day, wasn't it? Excellent. Well done, ladies, for, for spending this time to expand your consciousness and passing us on to the world so i said to someone the other day this is another joke i like to finish with a joke as well if you're going around in circles it might be because you're cutting too many corners mm. have a great day girls that was great learning and uh well done for sharing your participation which made it really exciting that was really really deep and- yeah i love it i love it okay so have a great day we'll talk to you again soon and carolyn we'll see you this afternoon yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.